What up, everybody? Clyde here with KJ Tour Sports Breaks doing a full case personal break of the 2017 Heritage High Number going out to J Chub, aka El Jefe, aka El Guapo, aka I can't say the other one. <laughs> Today's date is the 27th of uh, September 2017. Amazon is always only here because of you. Good luck, man. One, two, three. This case, four, five, six. The other one on the shelf. Here we go. One, two, three. The gods say this case. That's it. Here it is. Look at it. Big giant ass box of cards. Good luck on a judge or a jeter. Oh my god. I don't know why I do this to myself. Yeah, no shit. Now you're probably gonna have a custom box, actually. We got a Bellinger out of one of these box toppers in a personal last night. That was kind of cool. No, Chris, no. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I make them sort that shit by team and, you know, make them sort it sorted alphabetically. <laughs> what a dick move. Yeah, we're going to kind of fly through this. I'm not going to be going through all the backs and stuff. I'll let Jay Chob do all the heavy lifting. I see anything that's obvious, and of course I'll pull it out. But... Bellingers, judges, factors and shit, those will all get taken care of. Yeah, right? Actually, honestly, I was looking at the secondary market on these cases. These cases are still selling well in the secondary. I was, I was shocked. And I was just actually contemplating selling both of them on the uh, secondary. So I got that random team full caser sitting there. And, you know, Matt Sluts bought a few spots in it. But nobody else has touched it, which is weird. It's priced out really well. I mean, if you spend $45 on a random team and you hit the freaking Yankees or the Dodgers, you get four Bellinger base rookies and it pays for your spot. <laughs> I'm bored already and you've only you haven't even opened up a full box of the packs. The fuck. <laughs> All you baseball guys are you like, hell yeah. At least I talk to you guys when I'm doing this. I've seen some breakers that sit there rip packs and it's just total silence. It's like, oh my god. Fucking cut me now. Whoa, what? Hugh Hefner passed away? When? Playboy will never be the same. Box top is right here. You can see him, right? Yeah. Wow. Man, that sucks. Alright, here we go. Zimmer, Frazier, Powell. There's a belly. Already starting. Getting your money back already, brother. I'm not going to put rookies out because you're going to get it. I'm going to put the judges and the Bregmans or the Benettonis out or the uh, Bellingers. And then we'll look through the backs later. <clears throat> if I know your short prints, because that's where your money's at. 
Coda Glover, rookie refractor, number two, nine bazillion. Yeah, nobody, nobody can say they lived a better life than you, Hefner. That sucks, man. I liked you. Rest in peace, you. Another belly. Go shit and land. Dansby Swanson, PC patch for you. Clubhouse collection. Non-numbered. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Shh, Brendan, don't tell my secrets. <laughs> what he is a nice Bellinger uh, photo variation. Refractor. No judge yet, though. Two bellies, no judges. No insert. What's that, Jiho? Entertainment. Say. Ten billion dollars. There's probably a big photo variation in that because that was a weak box. There's definitely a big variation in that. We'll go through them in a minute. Guarantee there is. There's no way that box just had two Bellingers and a Swanson and one fucking refractor. A whole bunch of bull titties. It's 24. I ain't doing this shit, Topless. Oh, hell no. Y'all don't want to see that. See my big old Clyde nipples? <laughs> Talk about make a room leave quick. You either A, be jealous, or B, be grossed out. Like, how can I get nipples like that? <laughs> Ever go topless? Which one? You want wet, wet? You want daddy issues? Or you want slut tender? I got three of them. <laughs> well, all three of them are pretty hot. Actually. Slut Tender is probably the hottest one. Oh, that's interesting. Upside Down Pack. Set that one to the side and see what comes out of that one. It was Upside Down. It's a sign. It's a sign from the card gods. There's a monster in it. It's got a Judge Super Fractor Auto. Daddy Issues is pretty hot, too, but she's crazy as shit. All right, let's see what's in this pack. Why were you upside down? Yep. Booyah. Another one. Cody Bellinger on card. Ricky Auto. In the upside down pack. Sick. Right out the gate, brother. It's the base one, but still very nice. I had that bitch upside down for a reason. 
fucking tops. That was it. <laughs> yep, case dead. <laughs> Moving right along. Let's just pull out all the judges and bellingers now. And refractors. Daddy issues is fun though, man. That last conversation I had with her, that chick is funny as shit. We're sitting at the bar and her boyfriend's there and he's behind us talking to somebody else. Right behind her. Dustin Bedroya, Clubhouse Collection, Relic, non-numbered. And like she's sitting there like, you know, how's the weather? And just talking about normal shit. And then in between talking about normal shit, she would be saying something without actually speaking. So I can just read her lips. And she'd be like, yeah, let's go fucking, you know, beside the building. And I remember your fat cock. I mean, all kinds of just crazy shit. <laughs> all her boyfriend's just standing right there. I was like, girl, you really, really, really are good at this. <laughs> I really like you. Oh. She's fun. Like she understands men. <laughs> and put up. Dallas Keechel. Keechel. Refractor, number to 568. Dude, you're going to have so much fun going through all these cars, Guapo. Yeah, real trustworthy. <laughs> hey, I'm not dating her. I would never date her. Are you kidding me? She's just fun to play with. She's a toy. That sounds so sexist, but it's at least I'm honest. Mitch Hanniger, rookie refractor to nine bazillion. Not one judge yet. Not a single judge so far. Only two bellies. And two refractors, too. Not a color refractor yet. Weird. Still a good start when you get a freaking Bellinger rookie on card auto right out the gate. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I love being a single. No glove love. <laughs> You're going to let your son sort it? <laughs> oh, boy. Like, I'll do a, I'll scan through and look for any variations for you, like I said, just to make sure if there's anything big, it gets sleeved up. Because there's some big shit with the errors and stuff. And you're going to have at least one big variation in this case. Like a super, super rare one. But as you're putting all your rookies and stuff out, I'm going to leave all those in for you. Uh, plenty of fish sucks, man. Plenty of fish is awful. Tender is just nothing but crazy women. I really like um, that other one, though. I forgot its name right now. The one where they have to message you first. The one I think Brendan turned me on to it. Man, that's not good anymore. Plenty of fish is bad now. What's that one? Brendan. Uh, it's like Tinder, kind of, but it's where if, they, if you match, the girl has to message you first. Bumble, yes. Bumble, bumble. Hey, you got a little pack of trash. All right. Bumble's the shit. That's the hot spot now. Man, there's a belly.
Does Judge have cards in this? Oh no. Yeah, plenty of fish is like just garbage. <clears throat> That's a Ben Attendee, no, sorry. I'm looking for bennies. Looking for bellies. Hot pink bellies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love the ones where it's like, I don't, I'm not here for a hookup. It's like, yeah, you are. Renato Nunez, blue. Rookie. Sherry, I know you know baseball. What are the ones that have like a different colored back on these? There's another belly. It's almost like it's like an aged back. Matt Weeders, number to nine ninety nine. I think they're super rare. Oh, God, they still do. I'm not here for a hookup. Then why are you on Tinder? <laughs> the most prolific hookup site there is. When you go online and you type in hookup site, Tinder is the first option. Oh, okay. I figured you usually know this stuff, Sherry. <laughs> Poor... Poor Sherry, she got to listen to my freaking horrible ass talking. Sorry, Sherry. Please don't think any worse of me than you already probably do. She's like, this guy. This guy. You heard way worse? All right. Yeah, but there's one that's like, um, it looks like it's aged. There you go, Bellinger and Turner duel. Seriously, is Judge in this? I haven't seen one Judge yet. Unless he's like a super short print or something. That's three boxes down out of a case. Sold like six Bellingers, not one Judge. So many baseballs. <laughs> we do. I mean, I'm not a sexist at all. I just enjoy women. I'm really not mean or rude to them. I'm always usually pretty much right up front with them about what my intentions are. Like with Wet Wet, I told her straight out the gate. And I was like, this is not a relationship. This is sex. So and she's like, I'm down. I was like, then we're good. And she got mad at me when she was trying to take it to that relationship level, and I just said, mm, I gotta go. It's too hard for me to have a girlfriend. I'm too busy. I mean, between I mean, work, which I spend the um, majority of my time with this business, and between my daughter, which I spend the rest of my time with, it's really hard to fit a woman in and their needs, too, so... That's what I always tell them, man. <laughs> I don't have time for the emotional attachment and all that shit. Who so. wet wet was her? Well, yeah, wet wet would. Uh, she, she's a squirter, so I called her wet wet. Daddy issues. She. That's how she came on to me. She looked at me, drunk as hell, and said, "I have daddy issues. Will you fuck me, daddy?" <laughs> Yes, I will. And then slut tender. The minute her boyfriend got deployed, she friended me on Facebook and started hitting me up every time she was going out. And then we were making out pretty heavy last week, but her freaking cock blocking friend kept pulling us apart. Bitch. Here we go. Next box. I give them all names. That's how I remember, because I don't usually remember their first name. Cody. But 
like literally, it was like the day after he got deployed, she was hitting me up. I'm like, what up, man? What do you want to do? Let's go. Let's kick it. Where you be at? <laughs> so far afterwards, and I got a hell more time. Hey, yep. Chicks love an attached man. Jerry Marquez, rookie refractor, number to nine bazillion. I got hit on way more when I was married and walking around with a freaking ring on than I do now. It's a challenge for women. Psychology. Because usually when a man is single, they're hitting on the women. When a guy is not single and he's married or attached, he's not hitting on women, which turns them on. So they like that because then it's a chase. Because women don't typically have to chase. I usually have guys falling over them left and right. Pretty much any woman out there, all she has to do is pull out her phone and text a few guys, and she can get laid within an hour. Trevor Story, number to 99, Relic. Oh, yeah, man, they like the rings. Like I said, man, shit turns them on. Like, oh, he's attached too. He must, he must have a job and must take care of himself. And there's something about him that women want. If you're single and older, women are like, "What's wrong with you?" Nothing. I choose to be single. <sighs> it was nice to have my ex-wife when she moved out here for a little bit. She helped out with the kiddo, which kind of took a little stress off me, but that was nice. But <clears throat> I got a specific way I like to raise my kid. And she was fucking with my mojo. Chris Bryant, you got two in this one, number 99. Doubled up on you. Still, no judge. Bowsers. Alright, next four. <clears throat> Let's put these right here. Can you see? see it? You know, not doing any fucking Brandon Cooks to 99 bullshit. I don't play that game. <laughs> yeah, I don't drive. I don't own an Audi. <laughs> I drive a Ford Fusion. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, that's uh, my friend calling. I got a got a lunch date. I'll uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye bye now. <laughs> what was your name, Tiffany? But I gotta go. Oh, it's all right. Tiffany's are crazy anyways. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Red boy. Do that up. Lola Mercy. Get my little regular on. Oh, yeah, man. Black people. Black people age the best of anybody, man. Especially black men, and like when black men, they get like the the silver, the little bit of gray in that. Chicks dig that shit, man. Black people age very gracefully. And beautiful skin. 
There's a couple black shakes that kind of hang out in the same circle as I do, and they always hit on me. And this one, man, her, I tell her every time I see her, she has the most perfect skin. Not one blemish. Not one pimple or freaking scar. You can't see any of her pores. I mean, just beautiful skin. She's pretty decent looking, too. Every time I see her, I'm like, what's up, baby? Love that skin. Let me see your ears, though. <laughs> yeah, I saw a picture of her. She's pretty. She is pretty. You, though? You an ugly motherfucker, bro. What the fuck's she doing with you? Can I holler at her real quick? <laughs> what up, girl? What up, though? What you doing with that motherfucker? She once you go Clyde, you don't go back. No, no judge. What the fuck, man? Better be a judge auto to make up for the lack of judges. And a little bit of a Benetton drought, too. Oh, yeah. There's another belly. Chad pinned her up against the wall, did bad things to her blue shit. Yeah, like Spanish women with that caramel complexion. Oh, my God. I got a huge thing for Spanish women. Blake Snell, refractor number 999. But Spanish women, you know, are the opposite of black women. They do not age gracefully. Typically. But they are unbelievably gorgeous when they're young. Unbelievably gorgeous. My eyes just crossed for a second. That was weird. Literally, like, cross, and they're like shaking. They're like, what are you doing to me? Fuck heritage. God, we didn't have one color refractor either. And Dan Vogelbach, rookie auto. You got a white, green eyed girl? <laughs> I mean, some, but I mean, typical. I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on an entire race of people. I don't freaking profile anybody, man. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Never have I cared about somebody's skin color, religion, ethnicity, whether they're gay or not. I don't give a shit about that stuff. I care about somebody's character. But, but typically, Spanish women don't age well. They're fucking amazingly beautiful when they're younger. Shit, Brendan, you just don't know me that well then, brother. You gotta talk to some of my friends that have known me my whole life. They used to call it my flavor of the week. I've always been rather popular with the ladies, man. Just always have. It's always been something I had. I've never had a problem talking to them, though. A lot of guys are, like, scared to talk to women. I'm not scared to talk to them at all. And nine times out of ten, all you gotta do is get them laughing. Be funny. Have a personality. And don't be like a, you know, typical fucking dude where you get all like possessive and shit and freak out if they do anything. Just let them do their shit. They fun all over you. Obviously, you gotta spend a little money on them too. Have manners. Be chivalrous. But handle your shit in the bedroom. Of course, yeah. It's 
Spanish girls can be crazy too. The uh, black girls and Spanish girls are way more crazy than white girls. Way more crazy. But, well, I don't know. Like, legitimate crazy? White women are the most crazy women there are. They're fucking psychotic. Black women and Spanish women are just more vocal. You know what I mean? They will put your shit out, pull your covers quick as fuck in public. They don't give a shit. Loud as hell, too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next box, brother. I need something other than that. I thought of uh, bringing the game up on this case. You think they're putting like three or four autos per case in this stuff that you should get a... All your autos should be huge. Is that a mini? Hey, we got a mini. Nice. Coda Glover, Rookie Refractor, number to 558. Drew Smiley Mini, number to one hundo, and one per case on those fucking minis. Ah, Cody Bellinger, variation rookie. Booyah! Booyah, brother. Nice. That's a cool 50 spot. But seriously, I don't think anybody's answered my question. Does Judge have cards in this? Because I haven't seen one to prove it. Crazy. I mean, one base rookie. There's another belly. Tons of Bellingers. No Judge at all. Is he on the checklist? He must not, dude, because there's no way he has stuff in this product, because I haven't seen one. We've gone through a half case already. Like, this is box number six right now. So we're halfway through it already. There we go. Cody Bellinger, Rookie Refractor, number 2568. Sweet. Carpal tunnel surgery. I don't know why he wouldn't, though. This is his rookie year. Unless they put him in in 2015, like they did with uh, Bowman Chrome. Corrupt shaker. Adam Jones. Smoker. Fucking smoker. Alright. Second half of the case, sir. Not bad on the first half, though, with the Bellinger stock. We got quite a few. We'll open up some box toppers now. Dick Green. <laughs> Well, if your dick's green, something's wrong. <laughs> Shit. Dick green. Okay. <laughs> Jay Chad, you got a dick in your box. And the checklist. Fifth series. There's no way these are buybacks. These cards are in way too good a condition. Tops just reprinted these motherfuckers and said they're buybacks. Lion bastards. Ron Davis. <laughs> What's up, Rick? Don Locke. 
goes with Dick Green. <laughs> then don't forget Don Locke. Jim Brewer. Okie dokie. Those are hot garbage. And your triples. Let's see if we can get you a belly on one of these triples, too. Mike Pelfrey, Drew Smiley, and Brad Brack. Say what? There you go. Cody Bellinger, rookie on that one. Junior Guerrera and Whit Merrifield. You should have somebody just cut that motherfucker out perfect so it's centered perfect. Let's send it in and get a BGS 10 out of it. And Chris Davinsky, Daniel Delasco, and TJ Rivera. Nice. There's Billy on that one, though, sir. You did it, buddy. You did it. I'm so proud of you right now. I could just die. Alright, next box. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rick. Your boy got you high as fuck, huh? Awesome. I guess. If that's your gig. <laughs> he said that asked me some shit. Probably laced with like some crazy ass drugs. That's why? Threw some fucking heroin on there for you. Pretty fucked up. My asshole wouldn't make it in prison. Literally. You ever heard an ex felon fart? Neither have I. They can't. <laughs> All right. It's more like a sigh. <sighs> All right, here we go. Box seven. I think you are good on Bellingers, brother. Hunter Dozier. Where he on it? Was that your fourth auto? Wow. We're actually pacing to do half a case of autos. How about that shit? Right on, man. Oh, you got another auto in this one. Bradley Zimmer. Doubled up. Getting a bunch of extra hits out of this case. Another belly. There we go. Judge is in it. Our first judge sighting. In half a case, a heritage high number. <laughs> the fuck. Another belly. Two bellies, one judge. Sweet. When you're in prison, you don't want to double up. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, no, don't double up. No. Oh, fuck. Guard. <laughs> Can somebody just give me the death penalty now? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's funny. And another hit. Jameson Taylor. It's like a hot box. That's what she said. Or he said. Or somebody said. 
don't know who it was, but somebody said that shit. Somewhere. Another belly. Man. It's a belly hot box. And another one. Ooh. Ooh, that's a color variation. That's money. Nice. Color swap. You know how I know that? Because all the other ones duped like that. Nice, man. So you've gotten a photo variation and a color swap so far. Yeah, this box is fire right now. Got two autos, a relic, Bellinger color swap, and you know, like six other Bellingers. And we finally found that Judge does exist in this product. And you got a relic too. <laughs> he braces Judge. What? <laughs> Just call him Shrek. That and the uh, refractors and stuff, yeah. Everything else Judge is going to be hunting through. Or uh, J. Child. Christian Arroyo, refractor rookie to 999. Arroyo is decent. God knows we passed a million other variations though. I'm sure there was something huge in that first case that we missed. <clears throat> we'll turn back to it later and get it. <clears throat> Box number eight. Uh, he can help that man. He's playing for the fucking New York Yankees. Judge has got got some money, man. All he's gotta do is say, "Hey, look, bro. This shit, this shit ain't right." <laughs> but shit, he's still landing hot shit. Just because his name's Aaron Judge. He's like seven foot. Four. Dude's huge. Six foot seven. Basketball player playing freaking baseball. Yeah, Rick, we were talking about that earlier, man. Nick told me. I had no clue he died. Died just a little bit ago, I guess. That shit's sad as fuck. He was the man. Every guy in this country wanted to be Hugh Hefner. Really? Sick. Oh, dude, his dick was wore the fuck out. His dick was like, no, dude, no, can we take the day off? <laughs> Alright, next box. Dylan Bundy. Number to nine ninety nine. Was that Peacock? <laughs> right next to Nemo. <sighs> I know. Try to shove some fucking skills in my pie hole. I missed. Take me so long with what? I'm actually breaking this case pretty fast. Last time I broke a Heritage High number, it took me way longer. As long as that upside down. And it's a base. I'm not sure why. Tops is fucking with me again. They fuck you in the case breaks. Addison Reed, blue shit. 
Yeah, buddy. You did it. Ass and Reed. Case is dead. Peacock again. Mauricio Cabrera refractor, number 999. Where the fuck's all the color at? That's a photo variation on the Matt Weeders. Caught that bitch out the side of my eye. <laughs> Found Nemo. There he is. Found him. It's 568. Found Nemo. Little fish ass was swimming this way. I ate him. It was delicious. Peacock again. Alright, that box was. <laughs> Alright, buddy, last four, my man. Good luck. Pretty decent case, actually. To be honest. Not too shabby. Whoa! Whoa! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Nope. I don't swing that way, brother. Thanks for the offer, though. Appreciate you. The fuck I do? Talk about break slow. Whatever. At least the cards get to you in good condition, right? I can speed up and start fucking your shit up like other idiots do. Dick fuck. I'm like I'm trying to get to four other breaks or something. I'm trying to take care of my man's cards. He spent his hard-earned money on this shit. It's not about me. Great googly moogly. Everybody that's stuck out this break gets a Bellinger. And you get a Bellinger, and you get a Bellinger. Yeah, if you guys want to do a vault break, I got a vault in there. I got a random hit and a hit draft. Again, price is reduced down to $105.99 from $119.99. I legitimately make, after shipping and fees, I make a dollar, like, what was it? It's like a dollar seventy-six or some shit. It's like a dollar seventy six or some shit like that. Dollar seventy six point five. A <laughs> dollar seventy six a break. That's what I make it. Woo! Right, get your spots. You got hit draft number six and random hit number one are in there. And I'm going to be doing a category break of that stuff. I haven't decided how many cases yet. It'll be like a two or three case category break. Hey, you're on the top. Cody Bellinger. How about that? So many bellies. J Chop came up with a list. I came up with one too. I'm going to put them together. Figure out how many spots there are. And load it up. It'll be a lot cheaper for you guys to get into. 
Obviously, it's a category break, so like if you get one category and nothing comes out in that category, then you get nothing, but you're risking a lot less money. So, and if we're doing several cases, we're going to see a lot of cool shit. Now, there's plenty of people in the room to get one full. Just depends if you're all a bunch of cheap fuckers or not. That's the question. It's 105. Cheapest you will find vault out there. Nobody else is breaking at that price. I promise you. <clears throat> we heritage high number. We. Josh Red Dick to nine ninety nine. Rose chapped ass, not pregnant. Not numbered. Jesse Winker, rookie number to nine ninety nine, refractor ass. Belly. You want to spot in that break? Support your local breaker. Help them make a whole dollar seventy six. Get your spot in vault. Feel free to tip if you want. If you can afford to. Each one has nine left in it, so get in there. If you're gonna buy a spot? Buy one. Stop dicking around. Rob Zastrinsky, number to five sixty eight. Three more to go, what? Three more. There you go, Red Boy, Jay. Which one? Are you talking about the hit draft guys or the random hit? Uh, the Trumps do, actually. It just depends on which Trump you get. And they're all over the place, though. And that all depends on the sellers, too. You got those idiots that sell weird times, or they put it up for some garbage buy it now and drive the price down. You never know. People do all kinds of dumb shit. The popula population is so retarded. Alright, so we got seven left in. Seven left in a vault hit draft number six. Yeah, they're all over the place, man. And it depends on the subject matter in the photo, too. Because what I was seeing, you have to look at some of them, though. Some of them are actually, like, fake autos. And some of them are those ones that he got that people signed at, like, rallies and shit like that that are just, you know, a dime a dozen. But, like, the one that Tim got earlier, if you look on eBay, there hasn't been one listed or sold with that subject matter. It's the only one out there. And the one he got actually had a notarized, had the fucking notary public fucking stamp on it and everything. Notarized uh, COA on it. From JSA. Like they went through a lot of fucking trouble to notarize that shit. The Tim's case was pretty decent. That case we did last night ended up being way better than we thought. That Ric Flair uh, rose, it's like five, six hundred dollar fucking piece. I had no clue it was worth that much money. That made last night's case really good. It was like fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff that came out of that case. All right, box ten. My fucking thumb hurts. I'm ripping bags.
There's a judge. What? Finally a judge, buddy. About time. Renato Lopez, Refractor, 568. If you want a spot, go in the store, grab a spot. Hit draft number six. Coming up next. Rose Chapped Ass, Purple Refractor. Only purple in this whole case so far. Oh, and another one. Bruce Maxwell, Purple Ricky Refractor. There we go. Must be a hot box. Got a hot box. That means the pick a packs are a hot box, then. So we had those purple refractors coming out of the pick a pack, if I remember correctly. Michael Pineda, Rob Sagden, Andrew Benintendi, Relic, Cody Bellinger, Rookie Burple, nice. You're going to have every Bellinger in this product out of this case. That's crazy. That's the base photo one. Last one we got was the photo variation on the purples. Shit, yeah, why not? Okay. Your Bellinger stack is huge. Flexing with the Bellingers. <clears throat> Seth Lugo, purple. Sal Romano, numbered to nine ninety nine. So close, I can see the end. Shin Su Chu, purple. Rob Zastrinsky, purple. Eswahe. Carlos Eswahe. You mean you did it? I'm so proud of you. Traveling for work is fun at first, man, but that shit wears on you after a while. I'm starting to get hungry. Josh Red Dick, number to fifty or sixty six refractor. Be nice to pull a Bellinger like that. That'd be sick. Did we get an auto out of that box? Oh, we got the Benny. Oof. Oh, really. Box number 11. belly. Yep, we're on the green mile now. Looks like another burple in this one, too. I never looked good this year, though. 
I personally, the cards are nice, the card stock is thick. I mean, all in all, it's a good product. It's just... There's just so many fucking cards. If they shrunk this product down a little bit, I bet more people would do fucking breaks of it. Most breakers are scared shitless of this stuff because it takes so long. <clears throat> Alright. Box number 11. There we go. Don't forget, there's a shit ton of variations and shit in this stack here. We haven't found yet. We're gonna have a whole lot more than what we found. All kinds of color swaps. Joey Bats relic. Errors, photo var variations, all kinds of shit. Another belly. And Kenley Jansen purple. Ronaldo Lopez, Burple Ricky. You quit your job today. That's not smart. Why would you do something silly like that? Brandon Phillips, purple. Dallas Kiko. Kichu. Kuchu. Jorge Alfaro. Uh, Mauricio Cabrera. Trevor Bauer. Andrew Tolles. So we're getting a shit ton of purples. There's a judge on top of the last stack. Huh? Did I miss a judge? There's Mancata. Huh. Yeah, that was Moncada. I judge. Jose Azuna. I don't think Judge has rookies in this. Or we would have seen one by now. There's no way they're that rare in this product. Those cards would be selling for like a grand for a Judge rookie if they were that rare in this stuff. Last stack, and we get to the last box, and we got your box toppers, and that's a wrap. Holy shit, Adrian Beltre, that's sick. Nice Beltre, nice auto on that too, man. That's crisp and clean. Very nice, brother. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, brother, last box if you're still awake. Dude, your eyes are failing you? 
My eyes are crossing like every other cord. But my fucking fingertips are killing me from ripping these. Like this finger. <laughs> like raw. Alright, one more big hit. Kind of suck we start off the case break with the Bellinger Auto. <laughs> and then it just, you know, kind of went south from there. I like it when the big hits are at the end. So you get the end on that high note. You're like, yeah, sick. I like, sweet, big hit. And the rest of it, oh my god. This motherfucker done yet? Jay, I will cut you right now. Go. <laughs> no. uh, I gotta go. Um, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> so I'll be back tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not breaking any more heritage man. <laughs> yeah, I'll check the backs of your bellies for color areas. You're getting every card in this case, so. I'll check them for you once we get done with this. All right, here we go. Last box, my ninja. Another belly. Mitch Hanger variation. Rose chapped ass number nine ninety nine. Lance McCallers, purple. Why is it we're all saying getting all these purple refractors and we didn't get shit the whole first half of this case? There's like now one color card the whole first half. Second half is loaded with them. Well, this is the last box, so maybe there's a red auto in this one. Sal Romano, purple. Luis Sabrino, Vince Velasquez, mini. That one's number to one hundo and a Juan Moncada rookie auto. Sick. Juan Moncada, nice. You actually got. Pretty fucking good autos for only getting like six autos. Pretty solid. Dan Vogelbach. Ty Black. Boo, boo, boo. What am I doing? I tried to double sleeve a card. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, he had a pretty decent... I think it's a pretty decent case, bro. To be honest. And there's probably way more out there that we haven't seen yet. And we'll check those backs to see about the colors. Zach Wheeler. Joe Jimenez, Andrew, oh, last stack, Woo! Christian Arroyo, blue rookie, yay, 
Please remind me never to buy a high number again for Heritage in general. Dan Vogelbach, again, number to 999. It's like your third one of him. Holy shit. Whew. All right, sleeve these, open up your box toppers, check your Bellinger backs, and we can call it a wrap, sir. Oh, thank good God. Thank you, Jesus, baby Jesus, cream Jesus, all the Jesuses out there. Oh, shit. Box toppers, another one of these fake buybacks. There's no way that's an actual buyback. Mike Ryan, every one of these cards is in perfect condition. No discoloration or nothing. These cards are all brand spanking new. <clears throat> Dude, yeah. I think once we get everything out of this, you're going to have a pretty solid case. Romano, Rodney, and Gallo. That's kind of the only way to break this stuff is a fucking full case of it. Lottos, Maserato, De Leon. And Conley, Nemo, and Norris. Chuck Norris, that is. Check the backs of all your bellies. <clears throat> face, 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 face. That was your photo variation. That was sick. Nope. No different color backs, brother. Show you your autos and your patches. Call it a wrap, sir. Joey Bats, Juan Moncada, Adrian Beltre, Benintendi, Chapman, Taylon, Zimmer, Dozier, Jones, Vogelbach, Bryant, Story, Pedroia, Cody Bellinger, and Dansby Swanson. There you go, my man. Thanks, Guapo. I appreciate it, sir.